Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and you're watching So Beauty Stuff. Today I want to do a really quick video. So this is something that when it first came out, I really wasn't sure if I got it or I understood why it cost the price it did for what product you seem to be getting. Um, but I remember last year going to Australia and going into a Sephora for the first time. Oh, what a great experience. Um, and I actually swatched the, the pans in this palette and knew from that moment I needed to have it. I didn't buy it at the time, but I decided why not? I'm gonna treat myself. So the palette I'm talking about is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. As you can see, it is quite small. And um, if you just see this online, you might be quite surprised at the size of it. Um, but it's the Alchemist Holographic palette, or as my husband calls it, the Hieroglyphic palette. So this is described as a face and eye highlighter palette. So this is the, the casing, very beautiful. And this is the actual palette. Um, so I hope it will pick up on camera. It, it does have sort of almost a holographic finish to the front. And so when you open it up, you have the mirror and the shades. So there are four shades in here and this, reta this retails for, I think $50, which seems an awful lot for four shades, but the formula in these is incredible. So this is called Green Emerald, um, Blue Sapphire, Ultraviolet Amethyst and Pink Opal. And because there's only four, I can kind of swatch them all at once. So there's the four shades. So what I thought I would do today is just show you some of the ways that you can use this. So I'm going to use my My Kitco, my shadow, the little holographic one, because, well, that fits, doesn't it? So I'm going to pick up the... Uh, oh, maybe the ultraviolet amethyst, this sort of purpley shade, because it's almost like a purple pink. And I'm just going to dust some of this on my Cupid's bow and the bottom of my lip. And I'm dub dubbing it off onto the tissue here before I go back in, because I don't want to get any of my lipstick in the palette. So I am literally kind of just coating the brush and dusting it on. So I was just going to do like the high points, but now I'm just kind of doing the whole lip. And now you've got this awesome duochrome sort of shiny lip look that it looks so cool. And I do have a lip topper that is supposed to do a similar kind of thing. So this is a Mecha Max brand um, lip topper in hollow glitz. And it's got a similar kind of finish to it. I will just put some on my hand so that you can see. Hopefully that'll pick up on camera. It has this sort of clear but duochrome kind of holographic look. And that is absolutely beautiful and essentially designed to do the same thing. But what I find is because it's got that lip glossy texture, it doesn't last all day. You do have to keep topping it up. Whereas this, but I've got the cream lipstick on and then putting a dry powder on it, it's almost setting it into place. So the lasting effect is essentially gonna be a bit better. I think maybe I might do the blue and green on my eyes. So I'm gonna start with blue sapphire and kind of just put it sort of in the center of my lid and then I'm gonna use the green in the inner corner. I'm just gonna use the mirror to help me uh, put it on in the right place. And you know, I just had like really kind of, not plain, but quite neutral makeup on, I mean, except for maybe the lips. And this just adds such a pop. And this is using it dry, my brush isn't wet or anything. Now for my inner corner, I'm gonna use the green emerald, this shade, but I thought I would mix it up and actually um, wet my brush for this just to see what kind of intensity we can get. So that looks, it's just really brightened up my face. I love the way the light is catching that in a corner. And so the final shade I've got is pink opal, but I'm gonna use um, just a little bit of pink opal on a brush as my cheek highlight. Wow, that is super intense. It's pretty intense. And what I think as well, if you wanna really intensify your lips, I'm gonna take some of this pink on my finger excuse my chip nail polish and just dab it in the center 
just to really make that super vibrant. It's just really, really an intense powder. I really like it. Um, but I just wanted to give a really quick tutorial of some different ways that you can use this because um, it is quite a unique type of product. Um, I really like this um, and I just think this is adorable. I love the look of the palette. I think Kat Von D has such an amazing style when it comes to styling her products and the, the packaging. Everything is so beautiful. And then you've got these really cool, intense, unique shades in there. Um, I'm really, really happy with this palette. Um, and I would treat it as more of a highlighter than I would an eyeshadow, um, definitely, but I love using them on my eyes. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you some ideas on how to use this. I find that it's very long wearing, it lasts all day. It's a great product, great formula. Um, I really enjoy it. And um, if you've been considering this and you're not sure, hopefully this has helped you to make a decision. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos as well. And why would you want to? Because my content is amazing, right? See you next time. Bye.